Every day we purchase several plastic products like water bottle, milk containers, frozen food boxes, cutlery, bags and others. Most of them are used once and then thrown away. These plastic products can be melted and granulated again to be used again. But the problem is how to identify the plastic the product is made of and how to short them. Because most plastics look the same. To simplify this problem, resin identification code was developed. Resin identification code is a set of symbols that appears on most plastic products mostly at the bottom inside the three arrow triangle symbol. Resin identification codes are also known as plastic recycling codes. These codes were developed so that we can understand which product is made of what type of plastic and we can short them without mixing them. Because not every polymer is the same. Every polymer has different properties and therefore they are used in different applications. These numbers vary from 1 to 7. Each number identifies a different plastic. Number 1 is given to polyethylene terephthalate PET polymer. PET is most known for its application in plastic bottles. It is a clear, tough, solvent resistant and most recyclable polymer. This recycling number can be found in the plastic products where transparency is the primary requirement. For example, water and soft drink bottles, vegetable oil containers, fruit containers, synthetic fibers, etc. Number 2 is given to high density polyethylene. This number is found in the plastic products where opacity and semi flexibility is required. For example, milk containers, juice bottles, buckets, bleach, detergent, shampoo and household cleaner bottles. SDPE is also strong and resistant to moisture and chemicals which makes it ideal for containers, pipes and other building materials. Number 3 is given to polyvinyl chloride. This number is found in the plastic products where chemical resistance is the most important property. For example, garden hose, shoe shoals, rain wear, cable seeding, blood bags and tubing. PVC is also being used in packaging industry but it is not at all suitable for food packaging due to additive present in it which makes it flexible. Number 4 is given to low density polyethylene. Low density polyethylene is a much more flexible, cleaner and softer version of SDPE. It is most often used where flexibility and transparency are important properties like food packaging, cling wrap, squeezable bottles, bubble wrap, garbage bags, grocery bags and beverage cups. Number 5 is given to polypropylene. Polypropylene is very similar to previously mentioned polyethylene but it offers the advantage of higher hardness and heat resistance without losing flexibility and chemical resistance. It is a versatile polymer that has many applications. Number 5 can be seen in toys, bottle caps, reusable microwave wares, houseware, ketchup, syrup and medicine bottles. It is also being used in outdoor furnitures. Also, most bottle caps are made of polypropylene. Number 6 is given to polystyrene. Polystyrene is a clear, glassy, rigid and brittle material. It is used in carry out containers, disposable housewares, hot drink cups, meat tray, CD cases, refrigerated beans and crispers and medical disposables. Number 7 includes all other resins and multi-layered materials such as laminates, acrylonitrile butadiene styrene, acrylics, nylon, polyurethane, polycarbonate and phenolics. These polymers are being used in automotive, aircraft and boating industry, also in furnitures and electrical and medical parts. 
they are mostly specialty products made with more than one polymer so they cannot be recycled these were in limited volume at the time the coats were established among seven types of plastics only three types of plastics polyethylene terephthalate high density polyethylene and polypropylene are being mostly recycled other plastics needs more advanced and sophisticated recycling methods